Happy Labor Day weekend, everybody. Uh, you might notice a little bit of a change in scenery in the background of our weekly blog post. I am here in uh, Rialto at local Teamsters 63 office for Senator Connie Leva's uh, Labor Day barbecue. So uh, it is Labor Day weekend and we are a labor union. So uh, celebrate. Um, it is the labor union who helped make this a national holiday. If you look below in the info section of the video, you'll see some links about some of the history of Labor Day and uh, resources that you could use in your classrooms uh, to teach some of the Labor Day history. Um, so I want to start off on, on, a, on a real happy note. I want to congratulate our two football teams, uh, both Nogales and Roland High School uh, have both uh, started off 2-0 this season. So congratulations. It looks like we are setting ourselves up for a, uh, the makings of a battle of the tracks here at the end of the month. The last Friday in September is uh, Roland versus Nogales High School. And, Right now, both teams are off to a 2-0 start, so congratulations. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the contract. We're still at the beginning of the year, so I know there's a few key pieces uh, that are up there. Uh, first is class size. This district has until the 20th day of the school year to uh, have class sizes corrected. Uh, we are still making some final adjustments uh, as uh, we deal with the new enrollment and students coming in at the start of the year. So we'll hopefully have everything finalized uh, this week. So if you still have some uh, class size issues, make sure you are talking to your site rep. Uh, another issue that comes up is adjunct duties. Adjunct duties uh, need to be established by the end of the first month of school. Uh, so if you have not have your, uh, do not have your adjunct duties established yet, make sure uh, that they are looking to get done this week. Uh, when we look at planning time, know that each uh, elementary teacher is given a 50 minute planning period. Uh, if that time is being cut short, we need to know about it. So be talking to your site rep uh, so they can contact us if you are having your 50 minutes of planning time cut short. <laughs> when we get to planning time, there's also an issue with who directs the planning time. When it comes to grade level planning time, the contract is abundantly clear that it is the grade level teams who establish uh, the, the, the topics or determine the topics to be discussed during grade level collaboration. Principals can give suggestions for things that need to be done and reminders of when different due dates for things are, <clears throat> but it is the uh, grade level team who, who determines what those topics are. Uh, so again, at the beginning of the year, it's always class size, we're always looking at adjunct duties, and uh, planning time is also an issue we really want to be careful of here at the start of the, start of the school year. On a political front, if you've been paying attention to the weekly blogs, uh, you know the district of choice is an issue. District of choice is a state law that allows districts such as Walnut Unified to recruit and take students uh, from the Roland Unified School District uh, and have them uh, become part of the Walnut School District. And they have now have one third of the students in the Walnut Unified School District now come from outside of Walnut. Uh, that legislation is set to expire at the end of next year. There was an attempt to extend and expand the program um, that we push back hard on. Uh, along with Dr. Mitchell and uh, Zeus School District and Pomona School District, we have fought off efforts to expand District of Choice for now, but I promise you that this will be a big battle next year. There's, we're talking significant job implications for our school district uh, if Walnut Unified is allowed to expand that program. Uh, the program itself leads to inequities. Uh, we know in Roland Unified that only certain neighborhoods are targeted for recruiting and they tend to be our more affluent neighborhoods. Uh, this means that the students that uh, leave under District of Choice uh, tend to be students uh, that um, are, are not as intensive in need uh, and we are left with students that tend to have more need. So pay attention uh, over this year as we bring you more information about that. Um, again, I want to wish everybody a fantastic uh, Labor Day weekend. Uh, remember to check out the links here at the bottom for some of the history and some things you can use in your classroom. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you guys all next week in our next installment of our weekly video blogs. Have a great week. Take care.